I'm delighted to welcome three-time world champion Mark Selby. Mark, first of all, how are you doing? I'm good, mate. Yeah, yourself? Yeah, very well, very well. Uh, you must be a lot better after banging in that 124 in the final frame yesterday. Yeah, I mean, it was a great way to finish, but which finished off a great match. You know, Nopon played fantastic from start to finish and uh, pushed me all the way. You know, every time I've thrown something at him, he come back. He come back just as good. So uh, it was a great game from start to finish. You know, I mean, every credit to him the way he stood up every time I put him under pressure. And the first time you've been in the quarters since 2017, and of course you won it that year. Yeah. Uh, so a lot of the the media people keep telling me as well. So uh, that just shows how difficult it is. You know, I've had a little spell for four years where I won it three out of four, and then obviously, like you say, the last two years not got to the quarter final. So shows you what a tough tournament it is. Where do you think your game's at at the moment, then, Mark? Yeah, as, as good as it can be, mate, I think. I mean, obviously, I've been struggling for probably the last, like, eight to ten months uh, for, for confidence-wise. I know I won a couple of tournaments along the way, but, I mean, even still, I've been in and out of form, not really been that consistent like I've been in the past. But uh, even the first round against Jordan Brown, I didn't play fantastic, but I felt as though I could play really well. And then, uh, obviously, second round, that seemed to be the case. I played it, 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 as good as I can play, but still only, still only come through by, one, by the odd frame. But you can grow in confidence from that, though, can't you? Yeah, of course, yeah. I mean, obviously, you don't want to start off like the first round. If I played like I did against Nopon in the first round, there's probably only one way you can go from that, which is either way. So it's, it's nice to just slowly work your way into the into the comp. And then, obviously, to play like that against Nopon is, is great for the confidence going forward. And about 10-9, we started seeing the old Mark Selby. You, you seemed to get going then. But then you yeah. couldn't shake him off. Yeah, I mean, I lost to quite a big frame, uh, nine eight up. I was fifty odd in front. Went into the pack, didn't didn't land on one. And then after a few safeties, he, he potted a good red and, and made a good clearance. But I was sort of expecting him to clear up because it's the way the match had gone all the way through. Every time I'd asked him a question, he'd, he'd produced every time. So that was a, a sore one at the time to take because I think if I go ten eight up, I might have like ran away with it a little bit more and not been as close as what it was. But obviously, every credit to knock on, uh, he, and he's ended up taking the lead. So from looking like being 10-8 up, I'm 10-9 down. So. But then from then, I was really happy with how I held myself together. Like you say, if that had been six to eight months ago, I probably wouldn't have come through that match where I was mentally. But uh, a lot more positive now, and I think that showed in the game. Look, you've seen it and done it when it comes to the Crucible. Obviously, you know, you've won it three times. You, know, you, you don't win the World Championships in second round matches either, do you? No, you don't, no. And it's always good to have a test along the way. Uh, obviously, you're never going to go on and win the World Championships and just breeze for it. That's never, ever going to be the case. Even in all the years when I have won it, I've always had a match where it could have gone either way or probably should have lost and, and managed to turn it around and pull through. So, I mean, that could be the case with, with the knock on one yesterday. And It's always good to have a test as long as you come out on the winning side, obviously, if you don't. And then it could, it could uh, work the other way. You feel quite battle-hardened now, then, after two matches? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, obviously, there's still a long way to go. You know, you get to the semi-final and you're still only halfway through the tournament if you do get to the semis. So, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, I feel in a good place mentally and physically. It's just a matter of getting some rest now and got two days off, play again Monday and uh, looking forward and raring to go again. Are you bothered who you play? No, not at all. No, I mean, I've never been one to, to look at the, the draw and think, oh, I, I don't really want to play him or I'd rather play him. I know if I go out there and I'm in a good place mentally and I believe in myself and then I'm, I'm capable of, of winning any match. So that's the way you've got to be. No, if it's, no matter if it's myself or anybody else, you've got to be thinking like that. And you could play that man who's just said hello in the semi-finals, couldn't you? Yeah, I'm not sure. I uh, can't remember his name. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I could do. I mean, he's obviously got a tough game at the minute, four all against Ding. Uh, it looks to be a good session so far. So obviously the half we're in, a lot of the top seeds are still left in there. Obviously the other half, some of the big names have gone out. So it's going to be tough, even if you get to, to the final. Uh, obviously, like you say, all, all big seeds left. Got a tough game in, in Neil Robertson or Barry Hawkins next, depending who comes through that. Um, it's obviously very different this year. What's it like without the crowd? Yeah, it's definitely strange, mate. Uh, obviously, first game, I found it really, really strange because it's unknown territory. Not really experienced that. I know we've had a few tournaments in Milton Keynes behind closed doors, but to actually play in a big arena... And uh, it not be blocked off and just see all, a lot of empty seats was quite strange. But going into the second game against Nopon, I sort of knew what we was going out into. And uh, I, I wouldn't say it's better because obviously I'd rather play in a full house, you know. But uh, with what's going on at the moment, I'm just thankful that the tournament is still being able to go ahead. 
Are you able to relax between matches? You've got you got your wife Vicky with you at the moment. Yeah, yeah, uh, Vicky's Vicky's here. I mean, hopefully she'll be here until the end if, if I get to the final. But uh, yeah, it's just been nice, you know. I've just been playing the game and then just going back. We've got an apartment which we which we're renting, so it's just been nice just to go back there and chill and just sort of forget about snooker apart from when I have to be here and play the match. And uh, you're putting in the, the time on the practice table. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I'm not overdoing it. I mean, I have been working hard before the tournament, but why we're here now, it's just a matter of just ticking over and not not doing too much and, and making sure you're getting your rest. And you've got Chris Henry in your corner nowadays. Yeah, yeah. I've uh, I've been speaking to Chris for about the last month and a half, two months, uh, and I'm asking him his advice. And it got to a point where he said, "Look, I can only tell you so much, obviously, unless you come on board with me. Else, it's not fair on all the other players I'm working with." So. I said, yeah, certainly. And, and the way I was, I felt as though, like, if I didn't sort of do something, I'd have probably come here this tournament with no chance of winning because I, I was not in a great place mentally, sort of a little bit down on myself, a little bit negative about my game. So uh, we spoke to Chris and we come up with an agreement that we'll give it a go for a year and, and see how we go. And it's early days, but it seems to be improvements, which is good. I mean, come on, Mark, you, you've got all the ability, haven't you? You've, you've won it three times. You, you, you know, you're world number one for years. So... Do you think a lot of it is, is confidence? That's what you need to improve? Yeah, definitely so. But uh, I mean, somebody like Chris is obviously great at his job. I mean, obviously, he's one of the most positive people I've, I've ever met. So, I mean, sometimes, obviously, you just need telling, you know. And if it means Chris being in the corner and just feeding me that positive energy all the while, and then so be it. Because sometimes, as you say, I've won everything in the game. But if you keep losing and you keep being down on yourself and you're not believing in yourself, it doesn't matter what you've won. You've seen people like John Higgins have gone for a, a patch before where he's been really struggling. Uh, so also got no self belief, and you look at what is one in the game. So it can happen to anyone. Um, we're only at the quarter final stage. I mean, a lot of people say the Betfred World Snooker Championship only starts when you get to the one table, the, the semi finals. But if you were to progress and to win it again, Mark, for a, the fourth time, what, what would that mean? Yeah, it'd mean everything, you know. I mean, especially like I say, the last eight to ten months where I've been uh, mentally on the table and sort of having a lot of self doubts to actually come here. Even now, obviously, I'm in a position where I actually believe that I can win it, and I'm in a, a good place mentally to believe that I can win it, which is massive for me because, as I say, before I went with Chris coming here, I was thinking, well, wasn't really looking forward to the world because I wasn't really that confident. But now, obviously, having that game against Knop on and coming through it has obviously done me the world of good. And to try and win it for the fourth time is obviously one of my goals as well. Uh, not just this year, but over the next few years to try and do it again. So, uh, yeah, I'm in, I'm in a good place. So, to sum up, you're in a good place and you, you feel like you really can do it again? Yeah, of course. I mean, obviously, it's still going to be difficult. I mean, there's loads of great players left in the tournament. Obviously, we're in the toughest half out of the two. And there's still a long way to go. I'm only two matches in, you know. It's another three tough matches if you get to the final. Well, Mark, the very best of luck. Certainly entertaining yesterday. I mean, if it had been a crowd, it would have been on the edge of a seat, wouldn't they? And then to bang him at 124 and he decided to frame it's one hell of a task. So, look, the best of luck for the rest of the tournament. Cheers, Mark. Cheers, mate. Thanks very much. Betfred, proud sponsor of the World Snooker Championship.